In last video, we have discussed about the force. What is force and how the force is created between two objects and the nature of the force. And next is the effect of force. That whenever the force is created between the two objects, then the effects of the force are may make an object move from rest. Uh, you have learnt about the state of motion of objects. So for the change in the state of motion an object, uh, object force is applied on the object. So this is the ball that is in rest condition previously and when we exert force on this ball then this ball starts moving. So may make an object move from rest position may change the speed of an object if it is moving if an object uh, is moving with a certain speed then uh, then if we apply a force on moving object then the speed of that object will be increased may change the direction of emotion of an object uh, in last video i have told you about the example of the ruler that by using ruler we uh, exert a force on the ball on the moving ball due to which the direction of the moving ball gets changed uh, because of the force exerted by the ruler so this is the that is that was the example of this statement may bring next is may bring about a change in the shape of an object this is a sponge uh, piece if we apply a force on this uh, sponge that the shape of this sponge will get changed may cause some or all of these effects means if we apply a force on uh, on an object so it may be possible that all the all these four effects will be shown on that object or maybe uh, some of a uh, few of a uh, few effects out of these four effects will be shown on that object so here these are the uh, these are the explanation of the effect of force so a force can change the state of motion and what is the state mo state of motion the object may be at rest or in motion condition both are its state of motion so for changing in the state of motion state of motion of an object the force is applied on that object so force applied on an object may change its speed so here effect of force on the speed of the object speed increase and speed decrease by using by the force by exerting force on the object the speed of the moving object can be increased and can be decreased if the force applied on the object is in the direction of its motion motion then speed increase this is the uh, this is the direction of the, uh, the moving moving wheel and if we exert the force by our hand on this uh, on this moving wheel then the speed of this moving uh, wheel will be increased because we applied a force in the direction of the motion of this wheel as on increasing the magnitude of force on tire the speed of tire increase magnitude of the force means the strength if we increase the strength of the force on moving wheels then the speed of tire will be increased speed decrease if the force applied on the object is in the opposite direction of its motion so here this is the moving condition of the ball that ball is moving in this direction and if we apply the force in the opposite direction of its motion like ball is in the uh, is in the condition of moving in this direction and if we apply the force uh, from this direction then the speed of ball will be decreased next is effect of force in changing uh, in changing the direction and bringing the object in moving condition from the rest position so this is the first condition a ball at rest begins to move when a force is applied on it from this direction or by or from this direction by pushing it with hand next is when we push the ball again uh, while it is still moving this the ball uh, when when this ball is in moving condition then if we apply the force uh, in the same direction in which this uh, this ball is moving then the speed of this ball will be increased this is a uh, diagram that i have told you in last video that the direction of the motion of ball after it strikes the ruler placed in its path will be changed the direction of the motion of the ball will be changed after it strikes with the ruler because after striking with the ruler a force uh, is exerted on the ball due to which its direction of motion gets changed so in all these examples of the speed and the direction of the moving ball change due to the application of force so as a conclusion we can say that this is a object that is in rest condition 
this is the object that is in moving condition and this is the object here three condition if we want to change the uh, the position of this object we uh, have to exert a force on this uh, on this object and this is the this is a condition of moving object if we want to the uh, if we want to make this uh, uh, this object with uh, with moving with a greater speed or less speed then in that condition we have to exert force to increase the speed of this uh, of this speed in the same direction as this move is in uh, as this uh, this ball is move uh, is moving in that direction and if we want to uh, to uh, make the ball moving with a less speed then we have to exert a force in the opposite direction of the moving ball and this is a moving ball and if the uh, if we want to the uh, to change the direction of the moving ball then we have to apply a force like ruler that, and after being forced this ball the direction of the moving ball gets changed as in this example so force here used as as uh as a application that change the state of the motion of an object and what is the state of motion an object may be at rest condition and may be in moving condition both are its state of motion next is uh till now we have discussed about the more about the detail of the force what is force and how is it uh, how is it created and the effect of force nature of force next is type of forces two type of forces contact forces and non contact forces here for the word contact and non uh, contact gives some meanings about this uh, type about these type of forces forces always act between between the pairs and between the objects so contact force means when two objects are in contact with each other then contact force is uh, contact force work and when two objects are not in contact then the force that is uh, that is uh, that is created between these object that force is uh, called as non contact force so first is contact force the force act on a body when the source of force is uh, is in the actual contact with the body so here this is a book that is uh, uh, that is on the surface of this table and to, to make the book move we have to exert force uh, in this direction and uh, or we have to push this book so that book uh, uh, can be moved from its place so here the force is exerted between our hand and this book and if we uh, touch the this book with our hand and when we have we will be able to push the book so here this is the contact force that act between hand and book the force act on a body when the source of force is in actual contact with the body the point where the force is applied on an object is called the point of application of force or point of contact so if on this surface the force is exerted by our hand so this uh, this area is called as the point of application of force and the point of contact and contact force are of three type muscular mechanical and friction force muscular force the force exerted by the muscles of the body is known as the muscular force we make use of muscular force uh, we make use of muscular force of animals like uh, like like bullocks horses camels to get uh, uh, to get our activities done so here this is a example of muscular force here the muscles of these animals are uh, the force exerted by these animals because of the muscles of uh, because of the muscles of these animals exert a force on this luggage due to which this luggage is being pushed by these animals and these animals are connected with this luggage by this rock so here the connection between the object in which the force in uh, between which the force is the force is exer uh, the force is exerted so here the contact between these animals and the luggage is uh, is due to the rope that is attached with the animals so this luggage is being pushed because of the force exerted by the muscles of this of these animals so this is muscular force and so animals uh, like bullocks 
camels help us to for various activities or various difficult tasks by done by these animals by using their muscular force next type of contact force is mechanical force the force produced by a machine is called mechanical force and friction force the force that opposes the motion of an object is called friction force and the force of friction always acts on all the moving objects and its direction is always opposite to the direction of motion means that if uh, uh, as we walk on the surface of the road so as we walk in this direction so the friction force act uh, act on us in this direction and friction force always uh, always exert between the between the surface so this is the surface of road and uh, and between our legs this these are the our legs and so the friction force exert uh, so the friction force is exerted between the legs of the person and the surface of the road on which the person is moving so this contact the contact between the object and the this surface this contact this contact create friction force and this friction force oppose oppose the man for uh, for moving in this direction so friction force always act in the opposite direction of the moving object and it oppose the uh, motion of the object since the force of friction arise due to contact between surface example of friction a ball rolling along the ground gradually slows down and finally comes to rest such as this ball that uh, that rolling along the ground gradually slows down its speed and finally it come to a rest position because here a friction force act between the ball and between the surface on which it is rolling so and because of this contact create a friction force that oppose the motion of the ball in this direction and gradually this friction uh, this friction reduce the speed of the ball and finally make the ball in a rest position so it is the force of friction between the surface of the ball and the ground that brings uh, that brings the moving ball to rest till now we have discussed about the contact force now this is the non contact force non contact force means forces which do not involve physical contact between two bodies on which they act you know that force always uh, always exerted between pairs and force is exerted between the two objects so non contact force is act between the objects when they uh, when these objects and when the objects are not in contact magnetic force a magnet exert a non contact force on objects made of iron steel cobalt and nickel and this is a such as this is magnet and this is a iron piece so this magnet is attract this iron piece so this force is called as magnetic force like poles of two magnets repel each other and unlike force attract each other so this force exerted by the two magnets between them that like that they repel each other and they attract each other that force we call magnetic force and you know that magnet have two poles north pole and south pole and if two mo uh, two magnets are bring uh, are uh, brought together or near to each other then the if they are uh, they are brought Uh, near to each other than the uh, than the unlike poles if they are near in a uh, they are brought nearly to each other in a way that unlike poles uh, are near to each other then two magnets are attract with each other if like poles are being like poles of the magnets are brought near to each other then they repel uh, with each other so the force exerted by a magnet on a piece of iron that is also a example of magnetic force the force between the two object is also the example of magnetic force electrostatic force the force which result due to the repulsion of similar charge or attraction of opposite charge called as electrostatic force there are the two plastic straw and if this plastic straw is rubbed with a piece of paper 
with a piece of paper and uh, and during the process of the rubbing of this plus uh, this straw this straw with a piece of paper then this piece of uh, this straw gets charged gets charged and when this charged straw uh, brought near to this uh, uh, to this uh, uh, to this one end of this straw and this is a uncharged straw this is uncharged straw so if the charged object is brought near to the uncharged object then it attract to the uncharged object so this is the force of electrostatic force and if before the uh, bringing this straw near to the one end of this straw if this straw is also rubbed with a piece of paper with piece of paper it means this straw will uh, will also be gets charged so this straw will also be gets charged and this straw will also be charged and they carry same charge like if this carry plus charge so this uh, straw is will also carry plus charge and same charge repel with each other so in that condition these two straw uh, not will not attract each other while they repulse each other because they carry same charge because before bringing these straw near to each other by their by their ends they are rubbed with the same type of piece of paper and if they if they are rubbed with piece of paper it means they gets charged and the same type of charge they carry like plus plus or minus minus and if plus charge and if the objects carry plus charge both objects carry plus charge means they repel with each other so this type of force called as the electrostatic force and why the electrostatic force act between uh, between two objects when i uh, told you that the this is straw rubbed with a paper surface and gets charged if this straw carry plus charge it means it transfer its electron into this piece of paper because charge plus one charge the object having plus charge it means it transfer its electron to the other object and if the object having minus charge suppose this straw if uh, uh, having minus charge it means it gain electron from the other uh, other object so this is charge and the force exerted by a charged body on another charged or uncharged body is known as the electrostatic force now next force is gravitational force objects or things falls towards the earth because it pulls them because earth pulls the object towards it this force is called the force of gravity this is an attraction of force this ball is in the rest condition in our uh, in our hand and if uh, sorry this coin this is a coin coin is at rest until hold by our hand but as soon as it is released by us it begins to move downwards because earth exert a force on the object due to which objects uh, objects are having tendency to uh, to come downwards so this is a gravitational force so i hope you have understood this thank you